It's 12 o'clock already? Yes, Holy it was Tim Tim Doherty uh, okay. doing the co-hosting today. And you all got together and you said, who do we really, really want to have on? Well, we just figured we'd find our favorite people from our favorite hangs. And the theme is all about Akron. Akron, Akron, Akron. Local businesses, local musicians, local nonprofits, local places to shop. And we... We had to talk to Jill from Jill, to Jilly's to Music Jill. Room. Oh, thank you. So thank you for coming in. Thank you for having me. You got to talk right into that darn mic. <laughs> um, so we wanted to talk a little bit, first of all, about uh, doing business in Akron. How, how, long, how long has Jilly's been Jilly's? We just celebrated our third anniversary. Wow. Okay, I want to tell you something. In three years, you're a landmark because when you're trying to describe something to somebody, you say, oh, right across the street from Jilly's. Uh, exactly. Oh, wow. you, you just did that today. Yes. Because where were you shopping this weekend? Noto. Yep. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> so you've been in business three years. What has been, well, give us a little history about how you how you got to what you're doing. I mean, oh, it's a long and sordid history. Um, I've had a long history with that building. I helped book bands in there when it was Kavanaugh's. I helped open Northside 20-something years ago. Kavanaugh's, wow. Well, I remember, that's that's a name out of my past. I know, way yeah. back, way back. But it looked different then. I it, mean, it was a, it was completely... It looked very different. Um, and it looked different when it was Northside than it mm-hmm. did when it was Kavanaugh's. We all sort of put our own little signature on it. Um, I gutted it and started over. Uh, really opened up the space, uh, changed the colors, tried to make a place that uh, people our age would be comfortable and have mm-hmm. fun in. As an entrepreneur, in, in a, how did you how did you get rolling? If somebody wants to say, "Oh, I just wanted to to do what you're doing," I mean, the the restaurant business, the bar business, it's a tough business to be in. What what got you started in it? Um, the idea that I wanted to do it, the dream that I had to do it, and um, really, I just rolled up my sleeves and did it. I didn't ask anyone permission. I figured out what I wanted to do, and I just dove in. Wow. Uh, <laughs> that is there that's that's daring that's gutsy Good did you, you start with real estate i mean do you own the buildings and then you're a music lover or you're like which came first um the chicken or the egg the chicken <laughs> probably came first um i was always involved in music and arts growing up um and in my earlier years i started doing some real estate development uh in my mid 30s and um when this building became available, I bought it. I decided to um, go back to the music and the arts, do what I love. So um, what what is your biggest challenge? I mean, it, it, just running a business in Akron, Ohio, what is it? Um, is Ak- it the bar part of it? Is it the music part of it? Is it the restaurant part of it? It's all a bit of a challenge. I mean, it's a new adventure every day. I try to look at it as an adventure and not a challenge, not a problem. Um, I love being with the people. I love being surrounded by the creativity and the sense of fun and excitement. And um, it's just, you know, you you walk into every day with your sleeves rolled up. What, what, like the, you, you, what I love about, about Jilly's is um, the gluten-free menu. So, it, it, you know, I think when you start a restaurant, um, I would think that you really, how do you set it apart? The flat, fact that you're gluten-free is really a differentiator. But you'd never... I mean, it ta- Hold on, wait a minute. Everything on the menu is gluten free. Yes. Every single thing. I had no kitchen. idea. I thought there were choices. No, the gluten free kitchen. All that entirely. yummy stuff I've been getting is gluten free. Isn't Everything. that beautiful? Everything. Yeah, and that was purely selfish on my part. I've been gluten free for five years, and I wanted to be able to go someplace and order anything off the menu and not worry about it and have it not be boring and tasteless and um, hard. And it, granted, over the last five years, gluten free options have become really wonderful and much easier to find. But. Um, and why and why did you choose are you celiac or are you just gluten intolerant? I'm gluten intolerant. Yeah, and and you know a lot of people have said, "Oh, is that gluten-free business is that just a fad?" But the fact is, uh, a lot of people in my family over the years have had all kinds of uh irritable bowel syndrome or they just if they don't know what to call it, that's what they call it, when in fact you know, the wheat that, it, that we're, we're producing now, and it is almost being manufactured GMO-wise, it's not the wheat that maybe 100 years ago was growing in a field. It's, it's entirely different. So a lot of people are intolerant. It's not just a fad. And a lot of people are actually diagnosed with, with, with celiac disease, which, which when you have that, 
you, you can't even absorb other nutrients. Did you have to? Um, did you have to reach out to a certain individual, a certain person, to say, "Here's the idea that I need yeah. for, the, for my kitchen"? Did you, do you have like a head chef, or is it? Just... Um, we. I have a team of really wonderful chefs okay. who all work together, and um, we create things together. We've worked very hard on our batters so that um, our fry, we can actually have fried food, and it's it's wonderful. And I uh, fly my bread in from a bakery in Philadelphia who has really the nicest gluten-free baguettes I've ever had, and the pizza crusts come from Canada, so. Yeah, you would never, I'm, that is so cool, Bobby, that you didn't even know that was a gluten-free kitchen. That's wonderful. That means it's working. You're yes. <laughs> And well, that, I didn't even know that it was a full service restaurant. You know, I knew about the music mm -hmm. and the music and the music and the music. And I also knew that a lot of the musicians that I know love to play jellies, mm -hmm. oh. that you make them welcome and comfortable. Um, I was a working musician for a number of years, and there are places where you will never, ever book again because you ask for something like a chair <laughs> or a uh, pop and they look at you like no. you're a diva <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, you know i sat on the other side of the table for a long time um managing and, and booking bands that friends were in and so i know what that feels like and i never ever wanted to be that person i feel like you know there there, there is such a vibe when you walk into jilly so you so when you talk about you you got that space and it was north side prior to to you um your vision was just to have a space that um Obviously, when you walk in, you just you just feel welcome, and you move the stage around. You did you took over the building next door, or well, the it was line. actually all one building. There was just a, a wall that separated. There was a door there. I don't know if you remember, but yes, I took down the wall, took out the door, opened up the space, moved the stage, took out some structural elements, put in some new structural elements, so that those I don't know if you remember the big columns. Well, when it was north side, it felt very claustrophobic to me. Well, yeah. it, was, it was it's a very hard space. You know, those old buildings long. are they're long and narrow, mm -hmm. and you walk in and you're sort of tunneled into the back and all of, there are several old buildings like that. And then the band was on the one side just kind of playing right to the other side of the room, mm -hmm. the narrow room. Right. So it was kind of, I won't say harsh, but it was loud. And uh, You were on top of yeah. the band. Yeah, but uh, Sue and I used to go to Northside uh, and see a couple of bands and then when it all changed into Jillies and we went back, we said, this is totally uh, different yes. in here. Yeah. And a real cool vibe and, and just the color scheme that uh, that you employ Thank down there. It's just so neat. There. I want to mention one other thing that's unique to Jillies. You get to see top-notch bands, and you don't have a cover. That's I was going to mention that, yeah, we, uh, sometimes when we go down there, there's a restaurant right next door, and there's usually a people lined up to go inside to that restaurant. And meanwhile, Sue and I just bypass the line. Excuse Let's us. Go to Jilly's we're, we're going go, to Jilly's. Yeah, and there's, we're going to go see a band. We're going to get yeah. some good food, and we're going to enjoy some drinks down there. Oh, thank you and for the outdoor plugs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> That's great. And we'll walk by and go, it's much warmer in there. Yeah, yeah. Um, and you'll get right in. There's a seat and everything. Come on in. And it's plush. It's very nice in And there. it's also great pizza. The oh, yeah. flat bread. love the pizza. Yeah. Uh, and gluten-free. Matter of fact, Sue and I loved it so much that we had our uh, wedding reception there last December thirtieth. Yeah, oh, we don't yeah. even Fun call it. That we was. don't even call it a reception. It was just a party because it was a yeah. family party and it was an open mic night and all our family, they're musicians. I, I've got a family full of musicians, so um, I just said everybody bring your instrument and it's going to be a, a family jam. Yeah, and uh, so that's what we did. So if you, you know, if you're planning a wedding. Jill's party room was that is the first perfect one? for that. Was that the that first was one the first one. You, were, you guys <laughs> were our guinea pigs. <laughs> it, was, it was a great party. We've got a couple more scheduled for this summer. So. Excellent. All right, I, want cool. a, I want some inside information. If it's a band like Get On Up or Mo Mojo that you know is going to be full, mm -hmm. how early do you actually have to get there? Five? Um, <laughs> we do take reservations. Okay. So if, if you have a reserved table, our only rule is that you claim it by 7.30 because once 7.30 hits and we're we're full of people, we can't keep them. Yeah, the vultures, open we tables. Can't, we can't yeah. keep the vultures away from the tables at all. So we suggest that on those busier nights when you know the band is very popular to make a reservation ahead of time. Um, otherwise, yes, show, <laughs> show up during happy hour, camp out. We'll, <laughs> we'll, we promise we will entertain you. <laughs> all right. Are there secret places to park I don't know about? Oh, you know what? And that's that's, that's probably the, the one thing. One of the bummer. one of the biggest misconceptions um, about the neighborhood. It's perceived that there's very little parking because everybody just comes and does that loop in front of my place, in right. front of Luigi's. And if they can't find a spot in those, you know, the 25 spots that are out in front, then they give up. But there are turn right, turn yep. turn right. <laughs> there's plenty of parking underneath the bridges. There are big public parking lots back there. 
Uh, there's valet parking, and here's a secret most people don't know either, especially if the weather's bad. That valet parking that sits in between the Courtyard Marriott and the Northside Lofts is for the entire neighborhood. What? It's not just it DBA. Doesn't, it doesn't matter where yeah. you go. So for, for $7... The wonderful guys with JRP Solutions will will park your car for you and bring it back to you when you're done. I knew there was a secret. Thank you. So that, and, and nobody heard it but me. No. <laughs> the, the, and it looks like it's because it's in front of DBA right. where right. you pull up. But right. it's not just no, DBA. No, it's for everyone in the neighborhood. So no matter where you go, it, and go to go see everyone. Mm-hmm. I am dying to hear what you have coming up through the end of the year. You'll stick around for a couple minutes? Absolutely. Thank you. And if you have questions for Jill, you can give us a call. Our News Talk Sports 1221. 39 cloudy, awful degrees, but the good news is no snow today. In the studio with me today, not Jason, who is on vacation, Sue Wilson, Tim Doherty, and our guest, Jill! Jill Madden from Jilly's Jilly's Music Music Room. Room. And uh, Was Jilly always like a nickname for you growing up? You, I'm Jilly, yeah. So it's stuck, and you it's, just decided, let's let's keep it there. Oh, so you're not Jillian, a, or are you Jillian? No, you're I'm just not. Jill. I'm just plain Jill. <laughs> I'm just Jill. Just <laughs> Jill. <laughs> well, um, thanks for coming and joining us today. We're talking about, we're really focusing on everything Akron today. Local, local, local. Um, and, you know, Bobby mentioned she was down in your neighborhood for that uh, amazing um, holiday mart that was going on over the weekend. And, you know, I, we just want to really encourage you I mean, there's nothing wrong with the chains, but Tim and I make it a goal to like not go and eat anywhere in the Akron, Cleveland area that is not we do too. a locally owned. I mean, you know, I just don't. And when when I travel, it's the same way. You want to find those local places. And Jill, if you just think of it as a as a as a bar or a lounge, no, it's not. If you just think of it as a play, as a music venue, it, it is. But no, it's not just that. It's also a, this wonderful restaurant. So you've kind of got the whole package down yeah, there. We're, we're working on it. Yeah. Um, so uh, we want to talk about what you've got uh, coming up next. But if if, if I had to, because I'm, I'm just always curious, because it's always a dream to like own your own business. And, and Tim and I have talked about someday a coffee shop that could yeah. end up, <laughs> and then a night serving wine, and then have local musicians That's and right. open mic every night. I would night. go. There you go. <laughs> Mornings to coffee, wine at night, yep. bands in um, between, which will probably never happen. But but I'm always so interested because it's it's it seems like it's a t- really a tough business to run. What is your biggest challenge, like day to day? If you go, oh gosh, this is the hardest thing about being in business. I don't know the answer to that. I love it. I, yeah, I absolutely oh, love it. it. I mean, it is your life. It takes over your entire life, and you have to be willing to spend twenty four seven, three sixty five, thinking about it, working on it, promoting it doing it, rolling up your sleeves and being willing to do every single job in that place. Yeah. Every day and must bring a new challenge and you just kind of roll with it. And you just some you've seen it. before and you go, I can, I can handle this. We've done this already. But Other know. ones make you want to pull your eyelashes out <laughs> or, you know, it's, but you just, you do it. You have to do it. There's, you know, it's all on you. There's yeah. nobody to turn yeah. to you. The buck stops with you. And Well, I guess that would be the so challenge. You figure out it's all to, you. You figure out how to do a lot of things that you never knew how to do before. You figure out how to ask a lot of questions. And you so feel, you've, you you've done every me. job. You've moved the furniture. You've washed the dishes. You've, you've manned I, the grill. I clean the Have toilets. you been behind yeah. the mic? Have you sung? No. Okay. No, you will. Ab- that is the one place oh, where you will <laughs> never find great me. Great question. You will, I re- <laughs> you will, I'm not a center of attention girl. You will How about never, an MC? How about an MC? Never, Have you ever done that? Only if I can do it from behind a wall. <laughs> you will never find me standing on that stage. Isn't that funny? The people who love music so much, but you love to watch it, not I necessarily. I love to watch it, listen to it, nurture it, book it, help it, book it promote it the the whole thing but you will never find well me. after three years i'm sure that bands are reaching out to you you're not struggling to get them booked now are oh you? and i never was really there's so much talent in this area and and regionally not just in akron but regionally and and nationwide i do bring in some national talent every now and then um but there's so much talent here it's not a struggle to find it, good music maybe this is a loaded question and you can't answer it because it wouldn't be fair um but if you had to say, like, who, what local, just from our area, brings in the most people, has the biggest following, is the most fun to, is, is there just favor? You know you're going to have a packed house when you have. Get on up, Momo Joe, the Juke Hounds. Um, the Juke Hounds always does mm-hmm. slam it whenever yeah. we're there. Absolutely. Um, mm-hmm. And when I bring in reunion shows from some of the Akron sound bands, like Hammer Damage or Unit Tracy, 5. Unit 5 <laughs> and Tracy Thomas. The Numbers Band. The Numbers yeah. Band, for sure. Well, the Numbers Cleveland Brand is always weekend. a solid night. Mm-hmm. And they're, you know, they've been a solid band for almost 50 years. Are there bands that started out as the feature act that are now headlining? Um, what I try to 
do our, our co-bills rather than openers and and headliners. Um, it, we just we have an early slot and a late slot, and sometimes an early early slot depending on the night. But. We joke about you know how down in Florida there's always the early bird special for the senior <laughs> citizens. <laughs> I like I'm like, oh, who does Jill have for the early bird special from five to seven? <laughs> we well, I love to see, I love to see people that I'm totally unfamiliar with. I uh-huh. love an, a music adventure and um I go see live music two, three nights a week and you have such a variety at all, all genres. And that's, you know, there's no all niche. Genres, and that's a testament to the talent in the area. And we I really try to focus on original music. I think that's so important it just sort of just like it is to to you know support those local small businesses it's really important to Bobby them. have you ever uh, sat in with anybody at Jilly's no I've been invited but no I haven't done oh, you that should do I that. think you should do that yeah exactly play We're that fiddle girl let's, let's get Bobby out there who do you have on the calendar through the rest of the year oh so many people um this weekend we've got a, a two really great blues nights uh the deep south akron blues all-stars are playing friday night <laughs> what a great name and the, you know and it's a conglomeration of guys from from bands that you'll remember from back in the day like the business um mm-hmm. and oh, i remember the business mm-hmm. exactly you know all really talented people and the nighthawks from washington dc a really fantastic harmonica driven boogie blues band are coming saturday night from 8 to 12 that's a free show it's a nationally touring act you don't get that very often, and they, for free, especially for free. And they are so much fun, and so and so worth it. I used to book them back in the North Side days. Um, is that the kind of band, kind of like, uh, you know, how the crowd is with Momojo and Get On Up, where everybody has to get up and dance? Yeah, you, just you, can't... you cannot sit down for this band. <laughs> you need to be on your feet. Your feet are moving anyway. Your head's bobbing around. You'll <laughs> you'll be up. So this weekend is a really great, really great blues and R and B weekend, and a really great dancing weekend. Um, John Mosey Trio, Get On Up, Jew Counts are all this month. Annie DeChance coming back to town this month, so she'll be in. Uh, Jen Maurer Project, Tracy Thomas has a show. The Tenants, Run Thomas Run, two really great original bands. Uh, they're playing on the 30th, and I highly recommend both of them. And we're doing a, uh, a Clem family holiday night with uh, all of the, all of the mus- musical talent in the Clem family. Jeff Clem in the letters, Tremor, uh, his younger brother Drew's band, and then his uh, older brother Kevin and his wife Angela are coming in from Colorado to play. We've got a night with the Clems. Uh, we also do a couple of nights without music. So Wandering Aesthetics does their first full circle storytelling the fourth Wednesday. And if you have not caught that, put it on the calendar. It's absolutely. It's quickly become one of my very favorite nights in the bar. Full circle storytelling is such a cool thing. And uh, what's the concept? Uh, I, uh, it's they have a prompt, a theme. For the show, and uh, it's for storytellers. So you get up and you tell your story based on that cool. prompt, and it's it's really wonderful. And they usually have. Do you have a t- like a time limit? Everybody speaks for X number. They usually speak for I don't know five to ten minutes. It depends on the story. Some like go poetry, a little longer. Reading, some are It's it's just it's wonderful, and it's wow. Um, and then Doctor Sketchy Akron, which is a wonderful <laughs> uh, yeah <laughs> um, night for artists, where you can come draw a live model. And there's always a theme. This year it's Krampus, which is a little terrifying because. He's a scary guy. That's but, a scary um, but there's a, holiday it is character. It is a scary yeah. holiday character, but there's a different theme for every month, and they're the second Wednesday of each month. So. Now, I like, I I like the thing about... you do on Tuesday nights. Is that still oh, on Tuesdays? Yeah. Geek, I, we got to get down there drink live this. pub trivia. It's, um, it's yeah. a live-hosted trivia night every Tuesday, also free to play. That. You can win <laughs> stuff. It's pop culture, music. Um, Tim Doherty, the Rock and Roll Authority, would handle the uh, rock trivia. That's I think, for would, sure. I think it would hold my own pretty well, but on some on some things, maybe not so much. But I think I'd do all right. Is you it what, is an electronic game? No, then? no, no. Oh, there is a live host. Okay, oh, and you who play. Who does it? You, or is it different? Um, it's Geeks Who Drink is a, um, a sort of a national. That's what it's called. Geeks Who Drink. It's a national program. They even have a television program on the Sci Fi Network. Um, but they they send us a host and they oh, they so pose fun. the questions. They're different every week. It's really, really and fun. And people who are playing, how do they actually play? Do you have a buzzer or anything? You, or? you have um, answer sheets. Everyone, it's okay. sort of different. That sounds fun. But what yeah. time is that on it's Tuesdays? It's from 7.30 to 9.30 every Tuesday. It's free to play. You can win stuff. Um, Sweet. I'm anything sure. special oh, yeah. planned for New them. Year's Eve? Yes, ma'am. We have an annual New Year's Eve party every year. Um, it's sort of, it's, it's a little bit closed. We do charge for this one. It's $60 a person, but you get an all-night buffet, a champagne toast at midnight, Party favors um, and entertainment this year is provided by Roxy Moron, and they are oh a my gosh. bunch of fun. They are that's a, a great price. That's a great ticket for is a great Is that Karen evening. Starr's band? Yes, it is Karen Starr's band. Well, we had the benefit. We had our we got married on uh, New Year's Eve Eve, 
So Jill really helped us plan the menu because she's like, listen, this is what I, you know, I've got on the menu for New Year's Eve. So we were able to kind of coordinate those those two Mix nights and together. And uh, so I am telling you, um, the food is just incredible for this New Year's Eve party. It's Our quite guests a value. are still talking about it. Yeah, wow. yeah. I, Jill, I have one more question. If somebody wants to give experience instead of gifts, do you have gift cards that... We do. We have gift cards and denominations from 5 to $50. Um, there, You can order them online at jillysmusicroom.com. Or you can come in. And, and clothing, too. Or okay. you can pick one up. We also have swag. We've got T-shirts and sweatshirts and glasses and cool. So Excellent. there, your entire calendar has been planned for the rest of the month. <laughs> mm -hmm. And if you say to yourself, there's nothing to do, well. Shame on you because there's plenty to do. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. So, and, and if we want to find out all about uh, Jilly's Music Room, wh where do they get in touch with you? How can they reach out? You've got, we've got a website, we've got a Facebook page, we've got a Twitter account, we've got an Instagram account. So you can pretty much find us anywhere. Um, we also have our entire month's calendar printed in the Devil Strip every month. So it's right Beautiful. on the it's the inside cover. It's been the inside cover since the beginning of the Devil Strip. Sweet. All right. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me. I think you'll probably see us maybe on Saturday. I hope so. Cooking. I hope so. See, so we got any plans on Saturday? Yeah, we, we do, do now. now. <laughs> Coming up.